Previously on Life at Complex. Whoa. Around these parts, they call me the Hotshot Kid. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you're here? <laughs> not really. Who are you? I'm Trey Kennedy. Well, I only know of one Trey. Last name Songs. <laughs> well, you just met another Trey. And I'm about to dive in. Hit the cinematics. You think you got a better shot than me? Matter of fact, I do. The good luck having kids, too much saw shot. Wait, what's the too much saw shot? No look. Off the ceiling, off the floor, in the bowl of mints, out the bowl of mints, down the hall, around the corner, past Maggie, over Michael, and right in the bullseye. Ooh! Oh! Oh! oh. Sexy walk. <laughs> One more for good measure. Oh. This man over here is Trey Kennedy. People call you a Vine Star, but Vine is Dunskis. So right. I'm gonna give you a new new title. Yeah. You tell me if it's okay. Viral social media connoisseur. I like that. You cool with that? Viral, viral social media connoisseur. Now you do a lot of comedic videos, but I'm actually more impressed with your singing. When did you know you could actually sing? It wasn't until I got to college, so I was like 19 when I first started singing for real. People tell me you could, so I grew up singing in the shower all the time and my family would just tell me to shut up because just be quiet, but I come from a no musical background in the family here growing up, so it's kind of a random talent. Uh, no one knows where it came from, but I got into a college and, and now incorporating into my videos some, so it's fun. How old are you, if you don't mind me? Yeah, 24. Golly. 24? Yeah. What's the most important thing you've learned from all the success so far that you can share with I don't know, anyone who's watching these vlogs that think that that they, they want to pursue something like this too? I would say you just gotta go for it and not worry about what other snake. I mean, you see a lot of people, or even myself, when I first started going, you're making these videos, and people are thinking, what's this crazy guy doing? Like, what does he think he's doing? And now no one's saying that. Um, you know, people think it's cool. And it, it, it was years of me building this and like having a lot of uh, hate and stuff like that. And I just what, I chose not to worry about it and do my thing. And so, you know, go for it. You never know if it'll work out unless you try, and don't worry about what others are saying. This next segment is called Lunchtime. Hey, Zoe. Oh, hello. I need you to unscramble this real quick. Okay. It's very simple. I know it's lunchtime, but I was trying to think of something else I could come up with. Munch tile? Munch tile. I saved this first dance for you. I hope I don't disappoint you. Not much of a dance. Another segment of questions and answers. I'm your host, Batman Freeman. Going to New York next week, what are some cool things to do? I definitely suggest, I'm a foodie, so I suggest going to brunch and going to dinner. Um, and definitely looking at open table for the best places to go to brunch and dinner. Don't just go into like any restaurant because you're gonna get whack food. Try to see what the best ones are. I swear the food, I swear we the need prices recommendations. are worth it. Stop oh, you like made recommendations? Yeah. All right, ready. Balthazar. Okay. If you're into French food, if you like steak, if you're really into seafood, go to ABC Cocina. It's hard to get a reservation, so try to get a reservation a week in advance, but it has the best Latin American tapas. Um, let's see, for brunch, I would suggest going to Midwinter Kitchen or going to Cook Shop or Nomo Soho. You didn't ask Jim Jones that industry stuff you usually ask everybody? When particular guests come into the office, you have to read their body language. Jim Jones, 
Not a guy you want to mess with. Yeah, I know. Especially since uh, all this drama around him and Cameron and Joel's. So I didn't want to risk it to get the biscuit. Exactly. So I stayed the f away. <laughs> On Tuesday, the 28th, what sandwich did you guys get for lunchtime and where? It's toasties, dog. Why is it so good? I mean, like, you got can't right name here. your sandwich spot. Damn, you got one already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't name your sandwich spot Toasties and then not be fire. Like, you gotta live up to the name. It's like, Toasties. Who has the best cubicle in the office? Uh, David Park has a pretty good one. <laughs> Russ so awesome. just has a lot of things. Yeah. Which, I mean, maybe just by default. I would say office. Noah has a pretty dope office with a lot of cool stuff in it. I would say my office is, a, it's, you can catch a vibe in there. Noah's office is bigger though. I've never For been me there. personally, Rich has, Rich the CEO has an amazing office because he has like gym equipment in there and I'm like really big on this health thing, so. All these people working for a 540,000 sub channel, LMAO what? Am I missing something here? All they see is the vlogs because that gives them a behind the scenes look into the company. And they think that all we have is a YouTube page with half a million subscribers. No. It's not true, right? That's <laughs> not true. So what do we actually do right here? We do a lot. I mean, I'll, everyone kind of knows now that the magazine's no longer in print, but we used to have a bi-monthly magazine that took up a lot of, a lot of time. Um, and now we're strictly video. So we put all of our efforts into video, and I can tell you that every single person in this office is like running on blood, sweat, and tears to make sure that we're producing enough content for you that goes on YouTube, main channel, uh, own private websites, everything. Yeah, it's a lot. Will Chris ever run out of life advice? I will never run out of life advice. This is a fountain of knowledge up in here, and I'm here to help y'all achieve your best life. Right. Thank you guys for tuning in for another segment of questions and answers. If you have any more questions for anybody in the office, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get to them next week. Okay, today, life advice. Watch your digital footprint because that shit will follow you everywhere. Think about it like this. You're sitting in a conference room waiting uh, to interview for your dream job, yeah? And it's you and some other guy. And that other guy didn't jump on YouTube comment section and call someone a f because they disagreed with what they were saying, yeah? Someone says Chance the Rapper is the best rapper in the world, you don't agree, don't call them a f or d or retarded or that you them and their mothers and all that sort of shit. Think about it, homie. Be your best self and don't let your stupid, impulsive actions stop you from being your best self. You gotta kick that shit in lock, man. <laughs> You're better than that. Uh, All right, I'm gonna throw this over at Mike to close out the vlog. Until next time. Da-da-da-da-da. Deuces. <laughs>